Now, when you're setting the VTP password, I cannot emphasize this enough. It is case sensitive. It must be between 8 and 32 characters, and it simply must be. That's the most important thing. If you have a password set, then other switches cannot join your VTP domain without your allowance. They have to know the password in order to join. But if you don't have a password set, then any switch could go right ahead and join into that domain and could potentially introduce a big security vulnerability to your environment. You don't want that to happen. Make sure you have a password. Remember it has to be case sensitive, has to be at least 8 characters long, and cannot be longer than 32 characters.